Hello, dear student. Good afternoon. So, in the last lecture, already we discussed on same topic, plant protection appliances. It's a second part. So, today we'll discuss on the sprayer uh, equipments. So, first of all, so sprayers, sprayers means what? It is also the one machine that or equipment which is used for application of pesticides to control pest is called as uh, appliances or plant protection appliances but a sprayer may be defined as a mechanism in which the liquid is broken up to in uh, droplets which are discharged with some forces and the main function about this uh, sprayer is to atomize the spray fluid into small droplets and eject it with some force and which is used to apply liquid chemicals on plant to control pests and diseases. It, also, it can be also used to apply herbicides also that's used to control weeds and to spray micronutrients. Why? Or to enhance the plant growth purpose. So this is the equipment's use and this uh, spraying of uh, chemicals, the no, known as sprayer. So now the next one, this, what is the function about this uh, uh, sprayer? The first one is breaking the fine solution into fine droplets. For why? For effective size, for effective uh, that uh, uh, distribution. Distributing the drop droplets in uniformly over the plant parts. For why? To control the many uh, organisms like plants, uh, diseases, insects, or other like weeds. Applying the chemicals with sufficient pressure for positive reaching the plant, which is that to target site to where what may be the some like a uh, attacking agent that uh, to destroying purpose that uh, the spraying equipment is very useful. And lastly, the regulating the amount of liquid applied on plant to avoid excessive application. So this is overall the functions related the sprayer. So now the discuss on the last, the parts of typical sprayer. So first one is a tank or uh, this uh, tank is to use for to hold the spray fluid from which the fluid is drawn in through the suction pipe. Now the next one is a pump. Pump is uh, necessary for creating energy required for uh, the uh, atomization of spray fluid. But it is uh, depending on the whether uh, like pressure is uh, directly applied to the liquid or that uh, the sprayer are classified into uh, into like uh, hydraulic and pneumatic sprayer. In either case, uh, it can be the fluid or liquid is compressed and the, then thereby the forcing out the liquid in front with the some force. So that is the pump is necessary. Now the agitator which is used for dispersing the pesticide uniformly purpose. This function about this. So that also that to arrangement uh, to keep the liquid in the tank in a constant motion. So why to prevent the solid matter that uh, settling down at the bottom is necessary. So that time the agitator is used. Now the next one pressure gauge. This uh, pressure gauge is uh, to record pressure or uh, at a various points such as tanks and also that uh, uh, discharge the points where that uh, connected to the pipeline near the nozzle usually. So this pressure gauge is a, a function. Now the valves, uh, they govern the direction of the flow of the spray fluid that is function about. So when the pressure you uh, put in excess at set limit, so that time it can be released through a safety valve and these also provide to govern the direction of flow. Now the filter. So the filter is to prevent the some solid particles or mainly to protect the pump from abrasion or even also to avoid interference with the function of valves and to prevent the blocking of nozzle and also it uh, provided various points such as uh, like a uh, filler opening even suction liner liner opening lance and nozzle so that time this filter is useful now the next pressure chamber this uh, pressure chamber it's uh, prevent fluctuation of in the pressure and to record it the this all hose this uh, for the conduction of the spray fluid 
that uh, from the sprayer to lance this function of hose spray lance it is useful uh, one parts of uh, uh, spraying equipments for spraying under the surface of uh, a lip where that suppose in case uh, that not properly that uh, spread the chemical so that time this lance is very useful to easily reach that where to under the surface of lip that to target uh, like uh, some uh, pest or diseases will control by this lance cut up wall it is used to shut off the liquid now the next one spray boom this spray boom is used to that carrying more than one nozzle where that to attach this all nozzle like uh, uh, like fluid uh, solid cone hollow cone uh, even like a flat cone so that uh, this all these nozzles where that uh, fix and that is known as spray boom nozzle this very important spraying equipments lastly that attached to the spraying uh, equipments that used to break the liquid into droplets and spread them into uniform in spray drop droplets and it consists of body cap swirl plate washer or that sealer and last stainer so this is all overall that uh, the parts of a sprayer so that generally used during the pesticide uh, application so now the uh, same like the duster here the some different types of spray also available so first we need a hand sprayer or a manually that operated sprayer the first one is a hydraulic sprayer this hydraulic sprayer is a hand sprayer number 1 this is where that one person that to easily spraying that to hold this one hand sprayer which is a very small in and which is used to for to spraying the small, some kitchen gardening and it is uh, the tank capacity is near about 0.5 to 1 liters capacity and it is used generally to small kitchen garden so now the second one hand syringe did the uh, hand syringe uh, uh, is a one small equipments that we are used to uh, operate only small area that where the uh, application of pesticide done by this uh, syringe and it is single acting pump working on the principle of cycle pump and where that easily that uh, hidden insect that to control by this uh, uh, equipments so the next one the bucket bucket pump sprayer that's also we can say the stirrup pump this uh, stirrup pump generally used to that uh, buckets where that container and for holding the spray fluid at a time of spraying here that uh, image we can that easily see the where where that all this one lance that we can put inside the container and holding the spray fluid at the time of spraying that where the bucket generally used where that to fill with the chemical solution and which is used to suited for small scale spraying and the near about the area will cover per day in one day the one uh, one to 1.5 hectare area can be spread so that called as a uh, bucket pump okay so this uh, next one knapsack sprayer this knapsack sprayer this is also the generally used in the crops to control various uh, uh, weeds even insect pest and some diseases is also called as the backpack why because the tank capacity is uh, 10 to uh, 14 uh, liter and this is uh, the sprayer which is carried on the back of the sprayer that uh, during the operator and which is called as the knapsack sprayer and the commonly used manually operated this uh, knapsack spray will have one hydraulic pump working inside the container and where the pressure is developed with the help of level of hand where we can see we can see this the level of uh, hand so there with the help of this all this pressure created or develop and through this the lance and nozzle where that to which can this spraying material which, uh, easily spread so they are useful for the small scale spraying or spot spraying gardens even vegetable plots vineyard uh, vineyards etc so this uh, about uh, near about uh, 0.5 hectare area can be covered in one day and only the one person required to spray this uh, uh, equipments so now the next one rocker sprayer this uh, this one this rocker sprayer where the rocking sprayer has a pump okay where that the pump has a assemble big fix on the wooden platform here the my cursor i am showing you this is one wooden uh, frame where the pump and this all this equipment fix properly and 
and one person that operating lever a valve assembly with a two ball two uh, ball valves and a pressure chamber where and the suction hose with the strainer and delivery hose with the spray lance this this is a delivery hose that uh, tube like uh, and with the help of this lance this uh, spraying of rockers uh, equipments is uh, generally used to fruit trees and tall trees this is very important the rocker spray use against use wear so it is used for spraying fruit trees and in orchard or like in a tall crops so same like the food sprayer the uh, food uh, food sprayer is used to spray in the field as well as, as, well as uh, fruit crops principle also the same mechanism is same as in case of the rocker sprayer but it is uh, operated by foot instead of the hand in case of the rocker where the hand is uh, that uh, used but here uh, in case of the rocker sprayer but it is operated by the foot instead of the hand so this is a uh, uh, like called as a foot sprayer and this foot sprayer that uh, uh, gen, gen, there is no built in the tank okay and in the suction tube is therefore dipped into the liquid container and easily that with the help of this uh, lance and this all these that um, easily that uh, spray generally 1 to 1.5 hectare area can be covered in one day and here required two person here also the in rocker spray also the two person that to spraying this all okay so this is the two sprayer of uh, rocker sprayer and foot sprayer now the second one the manually operated compression sprayer that uh, the are also known as a pneumatic sprayer this pneumatic hand sprayer first one it is generally mostly used to in uh, glass houses uh, and uh, kitchen gardening purpose the second one is a knapsack sprayer uh, that pneumatic knapsack sprayer it is also known as a shoulder mount sprayer here the person i am showing you that spraying is done and the capacity of this uh, tank is uh, 18 liter and it is used for the field as well as a uh, vegetable plots flowers garden and some kitchen gardening also there that use this type of the uh, sprayer now the, this is also the some power operated sprayer that called as a mist blower cum duster or motorized knapsack sprayer where the gases energy where uh, required or sprayer used this work by the petrol driven engine this is the petrol driven engine where that the fuel here that used to uh, mechanization for for properly that operating purpose and here it produces very fine droplet size about near uh, the 50 to 115 micron in size and this area covered is more than previous 3 hectares areas in a one day and second one is a por portable power sprayer where that uh, useful for large scale spraying in plantation even also the orchard flowers in vegetable gardens so this is two power operated sprayer now that this is the one new type of sprayer generally that use but this pesticide applied uh, such as uh, with the less than 5 liter spray fluid produces very high droplets in micron like uh, 80 micron so that called as a ultra low volume sprayer and which is a hand carried battery operated uh, sprayer now the last this one the electrodyne sprayer this electrodyne sprayer is a completely new system of spraying material for use uh, to control droplets application of chemical generally used in experiment so that uh, known as a electrodyne spray so this is overall this uh, all spraying equipments used in different purpose okay so thank you